So the PS5 got a refresh this year, a new lighter design with redesigned internals. But one of the things you bet you didn't, I bet you didn't know, is the fact that it has a new processor. Well, now you know, and let's get into it. I'm Lacey Duke, please smash the like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more tech and gaming god there. Let's get into it, guys. So guys, since the PS5 came out, it's had a couple of other iterations. Nothing you could probably tell on the outside, but the inside has been redesigned. They've changed the metal casing on the inside. They've moved around the motherboard, CPU components, um, just to basically increase manufacturing, improve manufacturing, and basically cut down on waste. Um, and then obviously, create the PS5 to be a little bit more power efficient than it currently is and keep the temps down. Well, they've updated the CPU in the PS5 from a seven nanometer processor to six nanometer. Now, you might not know what kind of a difference that'll make, but basically it just makes the PS5 more efficient. A lower nanometer transistor means that there's less power required for it to work. And when you look at all the transistors in a CPU, um, lower power consumption makes a huge difference overall. And more than likely, it probably cuts down on the heat as well and the heat sink required to cool the processor. So that makes a big difference. Um, so yeah, your PS5 is more efficient. Now you know. Um, if you got your PS5 in the second half of this year, ob obviously, if you got yours back in 20, 2020 like I did, we're still on the 7 nanometer processor, um, but that's all right. Let's get into the article and let's talk about this. So, um, this article comes courtesy of Tom's Hardware. PlayStation 5 refresh boasts new 6 nanometer AMD Oberon Plus SoC. Um, Oberon gets the TSMC die shrink treatment. Um, Sony refreshed its PlayStation 5 console about a month ago. We did hear rumors actually of this happening a while ago, right? Um, from all sorts of places. Rumor, PS5 redesigned to enter production in 2022, feature new semi-customized six nanometer CPU. Uh, so they're basically just trying to cut costs, right? Um, have a more power efficient PS5, um, cut down production costs, and um, and they've done it. It's now out. Um, gaming tech enthusiasts have revealed little by little the underlying changes delivered with the CFI 1202 consoles on the web and social media. And the critical difference that precipitated the new compact cooling system and layer build is Sony's shiny new Oberon Plus processor inside the refreshed console. The first two revisions used the same AMD semi custom processor. The new Oberon Plus is present in the CFI 1202 model, so you can probably find out if yours is a CFI 1202 model. Um, possibly like on the back of it or on the bottom of it on that sticker um, mass produced by tsmc on the n6 process it's easy to spot differences in chip packages and score and source calculates that newer processor has a die size of below 260 millimeters quite a reduction from 300 millimeters for the oberon so they've shrunk it down by about 40 millimeters that's a pretty big deal so 300 millimeter squared not 300 millimeter wide that'd be pretty long now, apparently they were going to be considering um, five nanometer, the five nanometer process, which is even smaller, but apparently it came down to the fact that production costs would rise um, the MSRP a little bit too much, as it says in this article. So the revised PS5 reportedly used less, 10% uh, less power for the same gaming experience in that video. We've also seen that 2022 revision had more reductions in the cooler system bulk and overall system weight, bringing down Sony's bill of materials. Um, unlike many device makers who would have submitted a flurry of design improvements alongside the order for a new batch of N6 SoCs, the console industry is peculiar in that it might steer away from overt performance improvements within the same generation. So Sony was happy that the die shrink allowed it to reduce its BOM bill of materials as described above and that didn't have any further ambitions and didn't have any further ambitions for it. Indeed, the 10% power saving when gaming isn't a benefit that they will be advertising, but it is welcome nonetheless, especially if you're worrying about your electric bill. Lastly, it's good to know that PS5 consoles didn't lose up to 600 grams of mass over the last two generations to any real detriment to the system, but some say the 2021 revision ran a little bit hotter than the original. Now, that is something people did report on. The revision that we saw in 2021, um, people were commenting and saying it does run hotter, it does run a little bit louder than the original PS5 that I have, that we all got back in 2020. So this hopefully should remedy that and um, make it cooler, make it quieter, and obviously have it use less energy, which is always a good thing. Um, 
Lastly, Angstronomics also observes that the PS5 is the first of the big three current gen consoles to get a 6 nanometer chip, and that Sony's getting nearly 50% more PS5 chips per waiver than Microsoft with its Xbox Series X processors. Even so, Sony with its cheaper silicone bill and new lower bill of materials recently pushed price hikes worldwide except in the US. So even though they're saving money on production guys, they're still raising the cost everywhere except for the US right now. So if you live in the UK, Europe, you name it, you are going to be paying more for your PS5 and I think that's an, an issue that's been around the media lately. So let me know, um, do you have a new brand spanking new PS5? Let me know and do you think your yours is one of the new ones that, that's more power efficient? Let me know down below in the comments. Anyways guys, I'm blaze 2 k have a wonderful day. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please like, subscribe, click the bell icon and I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye guys.